Okay, good morning, class. So today we're looking at exercise uh, seven on page two hundred and seventy-five. We're looking at exercise. Uh, we're looking at numbers one, two, and three. So we are told that in triangle ABC. We are told that AB is four point eight. AB is four point eight. Uh, AC is uh, three point six. And BC is 4.2. It's the only thing. In triangle DEF, D is 3.2, EF is 2.8, and DF is 2.4. Okay? The question says prove that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. People, if you are given a, lo a lot of lengths, of course you're going to work with that lens. Not so. And if triangles are similar, what do we know? That the sides are in proportion as well as they are equiangular at the same time. Okay. So when we prove similarity, we prove one of those cases. If one exists, if they are if the sides are in proportion, then they are equiangular. If they are equiangular, then the sides are in proportion. Does it make sense? So, because all these lengths are given, we are going to go use that lens. Okay, so what do we start? We start by working out what AB over DE is. Alright, so AB is 4.8 over DE, which is 3.2. Alright, so 4.8 over 3.2. Gives us an answer of 3 over 2. Now we say, okay, BC over EF. So BC is 4.2 over EF, which is 2.8. 4.2 over 2.8. Gives an answer of 3 over 2. The last one, of course, is going to be is a bit smaller. And then the last one, of course, is AC over DE. Sorry, DE. It's going to be AC is 3.6 over 2.3 3.6 over 2.4 gives the answer 3 over 2 so what we notice they are all the same not so so this, this normally goes under here no? but because of uh, the space here and I want to keep the diagram in focus we say since we state the obvious now since a B over D E is equal to B C over E F equals A C over D F, which is equal to three over two. Can you see that people? Therefore, triangle A B C is similar to triangle D E F. And why is that the case? Because the corresponding sides are in Okay, you guys understand? So once we've proven that the corresponding sides are in proportion, then angle A, which is that there, angle A is equal to angle B, if needed. Also, angle B is equal to angle E. Angle B is equal to D, E, F. Can you see that? As well as angle C is equal to angle D, F, E, if needed. Okay, you guys understand? Again, that comes under here. No? Just look at number two. This is an easy exercise, no? Okay, sounds like nobody did the work. Number two. 
In number two, we are told that in triangle TRP, so it's TRP, the big triangle, we are told that QR, QR is 9.6, that is 9.60. Then we are told that TP is 4.5, TP is 4.5, then PS, 1.5, SR is 12, SQ is 4 and TS is 3.6 Prove that Again, we've got a lot of lengths So we're going to uh, prove that the sides are in The portion of course, not so So where do we start? We say in A In triangle S PT. Okay, we don't have to sit. Alright, so what did we say? ST over QR. QR is equal to. So ST, ST, ST 3.6 over QR 9.6. And that is equal to? Actually, I have to say intra angle uh, STP and intra angle QR is. Why? Because it's similarity and congruency. We normally start like it. Not so. Did not do it in the previous sum also. Okay, but again, normally that is what we write. If you leave it out, would you lose the mark? No. Okay, it's just formality which we do. Okay. So they have forgot it in the first case as well. Okay. Right, so it's going to be 3.6 over 9.6. It gives you 3 over 8. 3 8. Right, then TP over RS. So TP is 4.5 over RS, which is 12. And again, 4.5 divided by 12, we're going to answer 3 over 8. Okay, and then SP over QS. So SP, which is 1.5 over QS, which is 4. So 1.5 divided by 4, give you 3 over. Well, you notice, they're all the same. Again, this over under here, no? This belongs there. So what do we say? Since, since, ST over QR is equal to TP over RS equals SP over Q, which is equal to 3 over. Therefore, triangle STP, STP is similar to triangle QRS. Why? Because the corresponding sides are in proportion. The corresponding sides are in proportion. So what is that? What can we conclude from here? We can firstly conclude that means first if it's two triangles that are working in, it's STP uh, S T P, which is a triangle, and Q R is. You always. Those are two times we work in. So, what can be concluded from here? We can conclude that angle S is equal to angle Q of this triangle. Angle S, which is S1, is equal to angle Q, which is that angle B. Can you see that, people? Why? Because triangle STP is similar to triangle QRS. And that is the reason why order is important. Can you see that, people? Is, and then angle T is equal to angle R. So angle T1 is equal to angle R. Okay. And then P is equal to angle S. Can you see that before? So if needed, we can go with that fact. Then. Okay. You all understand. Right. 
So this is the diagram. The diagram is now very messy. Take it off. And also I'm going to take this off here. Okay, so that they keep the diagram in focus. And I'll answer the next question. Right, so let's look at B. In B, the question says, prove that PT is a tangent to the circle through TR, TRS. T R S. So if you have a circle going through here, we must prove that PT is a tangent. People, if PT was a tangent to the circle going through a T is R, then what, what would we have known? What could be concluded? T1 is equal to R. And the reason they would have been tan cot theorem. Not so. Now, because it is, we must prove it's a tangent, we can't go with that fact. In other words, we actually need to prove now that angle R is equal to angle T1. Can you see that? Once that is actually proven, then we can conclude it is a tangent. Okay? You guys understand? So let's go with that. But didn't we just highlight now that angle T was equal to angle R? Right? So what do we say? What do we write down? We say that angle T, which is actually T1, is equal to angle R. Why? Because triangle STP is similar to triangle QRS. It was proven. Also, if you didn't manage to prove A, um, to, to prove that two triangles are congruent or similar, we can use that in our next step. Okay? That is why the giveaways, I'm sure the, the, the reason why they was also give that in the right order is so that you can carry on with the next hours. The story doesn't stop there for you. Okay? So we're saying that angle T1 is equal to angle R. Okay? So since angle T1 is equal to angle R, therefore, so this is the obvious, we can just say since, that is the, uh, the, the case, therefore, TP is a tangent to circle through uh, TSR. Why? Why is that the case? The converse of the tan for theorem, not so. The reverse. Or angle between uh, line and chord equals angle in the alternate. See. That's the converse um, reason there for the tan for theorem. Okay? Otherwise, you can write the converse of tan for theorem full mark. Okay. Then the question says, then the question says, you must prove that, okay, I'm going to leave this one on the board. Then the question says, you must prove that QS is parallel to uh, TP. QS is parallel to TP. If, that, if those lines were parallel, what do we know? Corresponding angles on equal. Alternate angles on equal. Coherent angles on supplementary. So if we look at this here, if we can prove that S3 is equal to angle P, we've done the job. Then the corresponding, if they, those angles are equal, then those lines have to be parallel because the corresponding angles on equal. Okay. But coming back to this here, what do you notice? That angle P of this triangle, which is this one here, yeah, is in fact equal to angle S of this triangle, which indeed is S3. You see that? And there we go, the story done. So we say, as you now see, since 
take the obvious. Angle P is equal to angle S3. Why is angle P equal to S3? Because triangle STP is similar to triangle QRS. That was proven. Therefore, therefore TP is parallel to QS. Why? Because the corresponding angles are equal. So now we can put those lines parallel. Okay. And then the next question in D says, let's go prove that PQ is 1.2. Now where's PQ? In this here. But this is lying between two parallel lines, not so. So TQ over QR is equal to PS over SO. Can you see that, people? So we say TQ over QR, which is 9.6, is equal to PS, which is 1.5 over 12. Reason? Proportionality theorem with QS being panned out to TP. So I cross multiply, we'll just take that up. So T for TQ is equal to 1.5 times 9.6 over 12. So we say 1.5 multiplied by 9.6 over 12. Okay. A nice, this is a very nice question for exams. Okay. So you could have got gotten four marks, two or three there, so it's six. Good, these lines are parallel, another two marks, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven marks, minimum eleven marks. Okay. It's a beautiful question. If we get the third one, which is the last one in this exercise. Here we are told that A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. If A, D, I'm oh sorry, A, E times B, E is equal to C, E times D, E, and D E times C B is equal to B E times A D. You must prove that those two triangles are similar. So A B A E, that is A E and E B. Do this here. Yeah. And then CE and uh, DE. Okay, from here we can conclude that AE, okay, I just need to check something first. Right? AE. I'm dividing both sides, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one down and I'm going to take ED down. Okay, let's see what we get. So AE over CE is equal to uh, so it's going to be AE over CE is equal to DE over B. Okay, this year and that is the same thing. Not so. Okay, so let's see. AE over CE is equal to DE over B. Okay? That is coming from the first one. Let's look at the next one. I didn't come across one like this yet. Okay. So uh, DE, 
Let me skip the first one and divide by the second one. AD is equal to BE over CB. Uh, I have to take this one down, can you see? I have to actually take that one down. So, I'm just going to interchange here. So, DE over BE is equal to AD over CB. Why did I need to swap that around? Because DE over BE, can you see that? This is the common that I show you. Can you see that? So what can we conclude here? We can actually conclude that AE over CE This, this now comes first, no? this story comes first And then you conclude Since AE over CE is equal to BE over BE equals AD over See. Now if you go back here, what do you notice? AE over CE must be equal to ED over EB must be equal to AD over CE Can you see that? So then you can conclude, therefore triangle AED is similar to triangle CEB Why is that the case? Because the corresponding sides are in proportion. So these are two triangles are now similar. Okay. We look at B for B part of the question. B says you must prove that D E or E D is to E B as one is to two. If it is given that D A D is equal to a half um, CB. So from here we can conclude that what they're actually asking us is ED over EB must be equal to the R. That's basically what they're asking us of us. Okay. And it's further given that AD is going to be half BC. Okay, so if you look at EB over E, uh, ED over EB, where do we see that? ED over EB. Can you see this is actually what they're looking at? Not so? So we can say that DE over BE is equal to. Now, what did they speak about here? AD. Can you see that, people? They spoke about AD and CB, of course. So it's definitely not this one. So DE over BE is equal to AD over CB. Why? Because triangle AEB is similar to triangle CEB. Remember, this is what they want. Okay. So we go further and we say, okay. What is AD? AD is of CB over CB. So what's going to happen now? CB cancels. What's up? So DE over BE is equal to R. In conclusion, we can then say that therefore, therefore, DE is to BE as one is to two. And they will just prove what they want to from us. Okay? You guys understand? Yes, Which is that thing? Is there any confusion or any questions? Hmm? Yes, okay, so that basically brings us to the end of exercise 7, which is on page 275. Yeah.